Good afternoon and welcome. On behalf of our entire community, congratulations to the class of 2010, and thanks to your families and friends and members of the graduate school faculty who nurtured you during these challenging years of graduate training. And a special welcome to our several trustees who are with us today. So we launch another class of extraordinary teachers and teacher leaders into our schools, cultural institutions, hospitals, and into public sector positions. We celebrate each and every one of you. I know how much effort went into arriving at this day. For students, it has meant years of long hours juggling study, work, and family obligations. Now you are ready to go into an increasingly complex world, one which is defined, among other things, by globalism and technology. And I have been thinking about how Bank Street, and more specifically, our faculty, have contributed to your preparation. So earlier this spring, I watched the Spike Jones movie, Where the Wild Things Are. For those of you who haven't seen the movie or read Maurice Sendak's children's book on which the movie is based, the story is about a little boy who has had a very, very bad day. And disappointing connections over the course of that day with his mother and his older sister. So in response, he journeys to where the wild things are to take a break. Here is where Bank Street and today's graduates come into the story because I thought of you and our faculty when I saw the movie. You understand about children and wild things. At the same time that you know about the Hudson River and how to organize a class discussion about grapefruit. In thinking about our graduates, there are three qualities of a Bank Street education that I would like to touch upon today because they are so powerful. First, they are looking and listening, or as we often call it, observation and recording. Those of you going into teaching roles and those of you who will be teacher leaders have been encouraged to look and listen carefully. Looking at children, at families, and at groups of children together you have a way of seeing the teaching learning environment that is really quite distinctive. I think you're artists. Your mission is to compose something that brings out the best in your students as individuals and as groups of learners. You know about childhood demons and how to make use of them with students. And while it is easy for me to say that, it is not easy to make that happen. Now second, you have been encouraged to develop a high tolerance for uncertainty and disagreement. And Bank Street has also helped you develop ways of dealing with those times of classroom inquiry and discussion, turning them into moments that are teachable. You know how to encourage conversation and debate, and you also know that working through differences can be exciting and can lead to unexpected results for your students. Could we say that you see that life is one discovery after another, all the time as teachers and students approach ideas and each other with openness and curiosity? Third, there is your pragmatic idealism, which will always have a home at Bank Street. We will forever celebrate the teacher's passionate commitment to his or her students and to the teaching profession. But it is this interesting connection between idealism and pragmatism that is especially intense at Bank Street, and I tie that back to Lucy Sprague Mitchell, our founder. She, and I recently described her as a revolutionary, and her progressive colleagues and friends wanted the best for children. Why? Because they believed that the best schools and teachers not only led to opportunity, the upward mobility dream of many Americans, but they believed the best education to be essential for the future of our democracy. So one of the things that those who teach children are born knowing or learn very quickly is that children come into the world open to all possibilities. Everything is new 
Everything is potentially exciting. Nothing is unbelievable. Santa Claus, unicorns, children who fly, it's all out there. And it is one of the joys of early education that children are so receptive to new ideas and experiences. What a world it would be if we could all hold on to that optimism, that curiosity. So I believe that the best teachers and others involved in the education of children inhabit that intersection of pragmatism and idealism. At Bank Street, you have been encouraged to be unafraid, to take risks, to test out ideas, to love new learning and new experiences. And all of this passion connects beyond your classroom and into the world as your own students take their lessons and experiences down the road of life. The philosopher Martha Nussbaum, whose work I admire very much, has just published a new book called Not for Profit, in which she worries about the connection between our democracy and the current the current American educational agenda. She and I share a concern that all too often we are encouraging students that the purpose of an education is to get a good job. But the aim of education, at least at Bank Street, is very broad. It is about the curiosity and inquiry I spoke about earlier, and the pleasure in searching for knowledge and the excitement of discovery. And our graduates realize that whether through watching an iguana grow, or through a museum experience with a painting, or through thinking about Chinatown and its influence on life in New York, we will always have puzzles to solve. At Bank Street, we take these experiences one step further, and we encourage our graduates to foster real conversation and debate about all of the questions of the day, whether about race, whether about war, whether about the environment, or countless other difficult topics, we have encouraged openness and inquiry. Now, there are those who would agree, who, excuse me, there are those who would argue that there is a cost to the openness I described. It complicates setting priorities. It confuses those who don't know what to do with information. It does not lead to a simple set of assessments or educational standards. I welcome the complications in our democracy because I believe the openness our graduates will important to the world, each and every one of you. Your classrooms and communities will make all of us stronger. Instead of looking for the right answer, you'll be fascinated with the possibilities. Instead of taking the short route, you'll take the long way and innovate. Instead of turning aside a view you disagree with, you will listen. Our schools, our communities, our families, our classrooms, and our democracy will benefit from all that Bank Street has taught you. Congratulations.